Did you know that cloud is actually underwater? Fiber optic cables connect distant continents along the ocean floor, and 98% of the internet's international traffic travels over these cables. A global network of undersea cables makes it possible to share, search, send, and receive information around the world at the speed of light. The ability to reliably connect is crucial, especially nowadays, when we turn to digital world to work, to socialize, to play, and to learn. Google's newest subsea cable, Grace Hopper, will connect the United States to the United Kingdom and Spain. We are very proud to name this cable after an inspirational woman, Grace Hopper, a computer science pioneer and rear admiral in the United States Navy. Our customers and users will benefit from this cable through better network resilience and reliability. It will join our other private subsea cables in Google's network, those being Curie, Dunant, and Equiano, and it will further connect Google Cloud regions and our users to one another. The cable will be equipped with 16 fiber pairs and will incorporate advances in optical fiber switching that allow for increased reliability in global communications. It will enable us to move traffic around if demand changes or if there are connectivity issues. This is the first time this technology will be deployed and is part of what makes Grace Hopper so unique. Google is continuously working to advance technologies like this to improve subsea network resiliency. When it's completed in 2022, the Grace Hopper cable will be one of the first new cables to connect the US and UK since 2003. It will also mark the first investment by Google in a subsea cable route to Spain. We will also be better able to connect America, UK, and the rest of Europe to our Equiano cable, which is currently under construction between Portugal and the west coast of Africa. The Grace Hopper cable will increase capacity on this busy transatlantic global crossroad to power Google services like Meet, Gmail, and Google Cloud.